Hello YouTube, so we are looking at a parcel which has just arrived. Shall we see what's inside of this box? Let's go for it. Right, so I've just undone the box and let's take it out the box. Take the bubble wrap off and look what we have. It's the MXR. Wild Overdrive. Yeah. Zach Wild Overdrive MXR. Now this one is the original one. Boxed up. Very good condition. This is the original one. So they've got a current new one out. But this is the original one. It's in good nick. Should we plug it in? Should we see what it sounds like? It's gonna sound cool, I can imagine, being an MXR pedal. MXR, my favorite brand. One of my favorite brands anyway. But yeah, let's go for it. So as you can see, YouTube, I've got it plugged in to a power supply, and I'm gonna run the pedal with the gain and the output and the tone knobs all at 12 o'clock. I'm using a Gilmore a Squire Classic Vibe. Stratocaster, made in Indonesia. This one's one of the newer ones. A special run they, they did. I'm not sure if they make the Gilmore model now. And the amp I'm going to use is a Black Star ID Core 20 watt version two stereo 20 watt amp. I'm gonna run it clean. I'll give you a reference of the clean tone now. Right, this is the strap plugged in. Uh, I absolutely love this guitar. I think it's incredible uh, for a cheap guitar. And uh, I've not played it for a bit. And uh, I went to take it out of the case and it sounded in tune to me, but I checked with my tuner and it was bang, bang on in tune. Unbelievable, fantastic. I've not set it up, not done anything. It's got tens on it still. Um, I quite like it as it is. This is the clean tone in a way. And uh, off the amp, this is just a pure clean tone uh, off the 20 watt amp Blackstar, which is a new newer amp, which Blackstar done. That's the clean tone. That's the neck pickup. Right, so that's the clean tone, no reverb. So that's what you're hearing just through the phone. Now let's put on the uh, the wild overdrive MXR. Everything is at 12 o'clock. That was the next position, everything at 12 o'clock. So let's turn the gain down a little bit and see what we get. So we'll run the gain around about eight o'clock. <laughs> Thank you. 
my sort of uh, low gain Marshally you can get the uh, Jimmy thing. I think it does the Jimmy Hendrix thing really well. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. And it's so easy to use as well, this pedal, which is great. And um, people say it's like a tube screamer. It's definitely not a tube screamer. 100%. I mean, if you want a tube screamer, go and buy a Maxon or an Ibanez. Seriously, this pedal, in, from what I'm hearing, it's not like a tube screamer. It may be influenced from a tube screamer, but ain't most overdrives influenced from a tube screamer? I mean, the clown must be influenced from the tube screamer. So, yeah. Anyway, this pedal. Sounds great so far. <laughs> Through this amp anyway. It's just a practice amp. That's the bridge position. So let's bring the gain up to let's bring the gain up to three o'clock. It's not too much it's not too much in your face i mean this pedal would be great for stacking let's say a fuzz pedal or another distortion pedal but that's cool i mean if i put it up on full there's not really much difference between three o'clock and four it's nice and open that's what i like about it it's distort it it, it is got distortion to it but it's nice and open. Sounds natural. Sounds good. great for blues, great for rock, in my opinion. So yeah. Definitely has good taste. The wild overdrive. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave the, the output where it is at 12 o'clock. I'm just gonna bring the tone up to two o'clock then you can hear it. Now I'm running it off a nine volt power supply. Um, it's only a cheap nine volt power supply, but on a proper pedal board, it will sound really, really good. great. You'll get no noise whatsoever. So. I can see where people would say it sounds like a tube squimmer. It definitely has that influence. You can definitely get Steve Ray Vaughan, Steve Ray Vaughan tones as well out of this pedal um, and Jimmy as well. But to be fair, I mean, they are very different guitar players, but I mean, in tone wise, you know, they, they, I mean, some of the songs, you know, they, it, you know, they're, they're not far off. 
with the tone, you know, things like the Wind Cries Mary and then you've got things like, uh, uh, you know, Scuttle Button and, you know, stuff like that and uh, Lenny, it's very much uh, a clean sort of uh, light overdriven sound. And um, if I go to 10 o'clock on the tone, sound a bit more warmer. I mean, yeah, it does sound like an SD1 a little bit, but I... I mean, people would say the SD1 sounds like a tube schema. I would disagree. I, I think the SD1 sounds completely different to a tube schema. I, I, mean, I hear it all the time. If I hear an SD1 and I hear a, a tube screamer or a Maxon, you know, OD9 or whatever, they are completely different pedals in my opinion. I mean, yeah, the circuit, you know, the, the whole circuit might be slightly, you know, um, similar, but um, my opinion, I mean, they are completely different pedals. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'll bring the output a little bit, but I'll, I'll put the gain at 11 o'clock and I'll leave the tone in the middle. <laughs> pickup there I mean so far that's my favorite probably one of my favorite settings on this pedal which I am running it uh, I'm running the output at two o'clock I'm running the tone knob at 12 o'clock and the gain knob is at 11 o'clock and I really liked what it was doing there I mean this pedal is great it can do Van Halen it can do Jimmy it can do Stevie I mean it's a great pedal I mean three knobs so easy to use live you know i can imagine this being a great stacking pedal i'm really a fan of this mxr pedal so yeah i mean it does a lot of people a lot of tones there i mean you can get uh yeah crazy train and all that yeah and it doesn't sound like there's too much gain as well you can still hear the guitar you know because a lot of people these days use too much gain I really like the pedal. Anyway, like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.